Welcome back folks to another episode of Midlife Models, MLM, PJ here. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at a bit of an end of year review as to where we stand with Midlife Models, the uh, Diecast Models community on Facebook, and also we're going to look at a toy collector's fair. Um, I've also got a bit of a unpacking to start off. This was from the Toy Collector's Fair. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just put down the planned Toy Collector's Fair. This is in the UK, by the way. Uh, Toy Collector's Fair dates for 2022. Now, uh, myself, uh, Lee and Jackie from Diecast Fixer Uppers and Paul from Pimp My Diecasts Recently attended the Staffordshire, sorry, the Stafford Showground uh, Collectors Fair, and to say that it was massive is an understatement. It covered three halls. Um, it could have took possibly two days to walk around there. Uh, we had a Sunday after Sunday morning, late Sunday morning, uh, Sunday afternoon. So we got there off ten. Then it started to close at half three, which wasn't enough time. We ended up uh, rushing around the last few stalls. But it's the first one I'd been to, and I'm deeply grateful to uh, Paul, Lee and Jackie for coming down from up north, down to the Midlands, uh, to come and attend this uh, toy fair with me. Uh, we had It was great fun. It was also great to meet up with um, some friends, some friends from the uh, DMC. So uh, this was the... Um, this is the plan for next year uh, if anybody's interested in going to any of these um, let me know on the DMC channel uh, the more that we can get to some of these events and meet up the better it'll be for our community um, yeah it's great fun uh, bring a big wallet that's the only thing I will suggest because you'll soon get through some pennies so that's the do the um, Toy Collectors Fair for 2022. When you attend one of these event, uh, when you, when you attend, when you attend one of these events, you can pick up this um, exclusive toy and models collectors yearbook 2022. In the middle, it's got the uh, same dates. They're in the little um, pocket guide, but you also get to see a lot of other traders. And auctions that are going to be going on throughout the year. So worth attending, worth picking up one of these. Definitely the pocket guide, but I've made it available on the DMC channel. So if anybody wants to grab a copy of it, give me a shout. Um, so moving along, let's have a look at some of the um, items we managed to get from the Staffordshire Showground. Uh, we're going to start off with. The Corgi Toys Monkey Mobile. Uh, quite apt at this moment in time, being as we lost Mike Nesmith recently. I believe that only leaves uh, Mickey Dolans as the surviving member of the group. Uh, sad news, unfortunately. It is um, missing the... Uh, the group but we'll get them and it's got an A and B pillar missing and we'll replace those um, I'm looking forward to doing that one um, we have got a nice Rover 3500 in pretty good nick uh, does the bonnet raise yes it does does the boot? Yes, it does. Um, some transfers to put on there and around the top. We need to replace this beacon because it's pretty poor. We've got the um, Mercedes Benz 600 Pullman with the Windscreen wipers that move backwards and forwards when it's uh, rolling, and I think 
it does work yeah, just just about my mate Laz did one of these recently so I'm going to give it a bit of time before I do mine we've got a Corgi Toys V12 Jaguar E-Type 2.2 nice a bit of the uh, window missing so we can replace that bit of a bumper bit of the bumper missing we'll replace that we managed to get a corgi major toys hdl hovercraft srn1 that's got various components missing from it um, and i'm yet to find somewhere where i can get the spare parts I believe there's a figure that should go in there, a plastic canopy, and some flags. So we may have uh, 3D printing them, who knows. We have a little Dinky Toys Mini Clubman police vehicle. And we have a Dinky Toys Meccano Limited Ford Escort police vehicle. That may stay as it is, or I may use parts of it to replace the saloon version I've got. We'll see. Always wanted one of these, and I don't know why. It is the Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels Silver Streak Swedish Jet Dragster. I didn't know that the Swedes were well renowned for dragsters, but there you go. Fun one to do. I've got various, I've got a number of these um, Matchbox King Size Foden breakdown tractors made in England by Lesney. I've created a fleet that I'm slowly but surely adding to. I think this is a number 12, but it does have the hook, and uh, if nothing else, it'll end up getting used for spare parts for some of the others. We have what looks like a Woody. It's a Dinky Toys Made in England Meccano Limited. And that's all I can tell you because that's all it says on the plate. But it looks like a Woody. It's got um, a couple of posts missing. No interior. That's going to be a fun job to um, paint up. Um... Another limousine. This is a limousine ECH 158th scale majorette made in France number 339. It's been a while since I do I've done a majorette. Um and I do like them. I do like majorettes. It's got a closing uh, sunroof and I think there's supposed to be a TV aerial on the back. Uh, I'll probably make that out of some styrene and replace it. Um, what else we got tucked away in here? Hello, Martin. Uh, my mate Martin had got uh, one of these dragsters that he'd recently showed in his video, and I've managed to pick up two of them. So um, they're fun little builds. Now these are Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels Quartermaster Dragster. Yeah, and that's the same, although that's got Stephen written on it for some reason. Well, that'll clean up. Um, any more sizable ones? Yes, we've got a, a Dinky Toys Packard Clipper 180 with, uh, with white wheels, so we'll need to get some of those. We have got Ledlow PLC Middlesex. Looks a bit like Bluebird, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's supposed to be Bluebird. Let's look out for look, look, look that one up. A Land Rover. 
looking forward to doing this one. Uh, it's the Land Rover 109 WB Corgi Toys. It's been abused and used. One of my favourite vehicles. This says that it's the Dinky Toys Dodge Roy Sedan. Meccano Limited. Vehicles. It looks very similar to a Limpala. Um, I do like those. We've got a little uh, Rover 3.5 litre. One that I've always wanted to do. And it's a little Corgi Ford Escort. I used to have a 1.3 pop of various flavors of Vessels Courts in more time, but I do like that one. We've got a Matchbox Series number 62, a Mercury Cougar. Mercury Cougar. I like that. But uh, it's this colour that's uh, always the problem. Trying to, trying to get that. We've got a set of petrol pumps from Matchbox. It's missing some flag posts. We can recreate those and they'll go in front of our garage. The little Corgi Ford, Th Th Ford Thunderbird. I like that. That's nice, that is. Well, there's the Impala. Matchbox Series number 20 Chevrolet Impala Taxi. The Gran Torino, Starsky Dutch. And that is the little Corgi uh, Juniors version. But that's the first one of these I've had. So we'll do that. A Hot Wheels. I'm not a big collector of Hot Wheels. But I like this. This is the Corgi. Sorry, I'll start again. This is the Hot Wheels Corvette Stingray. Really like that. The Triumph TR7. I remember this from when I was a lad. Corgi Juniors Triumph TR7. I like that as well. Uh, what else did we get? We've expanded the set, our set of Formula One racing cars, which is those ones. And I've probably got about um, 10 of these now, so we'll get them set up. And at some point, we'll have a crack at racing them. And then, uh, almost finally, a Corgi Toys. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Really nice. Really like this. In pretty good condition. And I think the headlights, the dual headlights are in there as well. Yes, they are. So there we go. Um, that was 99.9% .9 of the vehicles that are collected from the toy fair so i'll just clear these away and i'll show you the main one that um i did get that i was looking for so one of the vehicles that i've always been looking for is the um jerry anderson eagle transporter now this one um when i purchased this that's how it came so i've been to um model supplies got a replacement engine some uh, engine cowlings, the, the jet covers, uh, replaced the plastic parts on the side. Uh, I think that was pretty much it, but um, spent, a, spent a few quid in replacement parts. But to get this storage unit or passenger section that goes in the middle, I had a look on uh, eBay and they were going for upwards of £85. 
So that's infuriating. What I did get though is another one and this one is complete and I got the box. So there she is. She does come away and all the parts on it apart from one plastic insert and I'm pretty sure we can make something to fit in there. The engine cowlings we've seen better days I might replace them but the engine is there all the parts I need to replace these thrusters on the side uh, three out of four are no good but at least I can get one model uh, completed so I'm looking forward to doing that as a part of my uh, many Jerry Anderson projects I've now got the um, Joe 90 car to do I've got an SPV to do I've got the Eagle to do uh, the only one that I'm really going to be looking for that I haven't got is the TB1 uh, the Lady Penelope car uh, I'll be looking out for that in the new year um, so that concludes pretty much everything from the uh, toy fair I'll put some photos up at the end to give you an idea of what was available from there so just a few uh, admin things to cover and uh, also a massive thank you to hand out to a lot of people. Um, for those that don't know, I started um, the, firstly I started a Facebook channel called Midlife Models, where I was pasting and posting pictures of builds and so forth that I was doing. I then went on to create Midlife Models, the YouTube channel, uh, which took off, um, and we're now up to. 198 subscribers which I am eternally grateful for and a th massive thanks to every single one of the people that have subscribed to the channel I never thought I'd get that high uh, it's great hopefully we can push on with the numbers in the new year uh, but I don't do it for the um, I don't do it for the monetary value I do it for the hobby I do it for the uh, well, it's it's led me to it's led me to um, join up and meet like-minded individuals from around the UK. In fact, from around the world that enjoy doing this diecast hobby. So yeah, we then um, I then decided that I didn't need the Facebook channel as much, so I converted it into what's now the diecast modelers community, and that has now been. So I create. So then I decided to swap the Midlife Models Facebook page to a community page, rebranded it as the Diecast Modelers Community. We have been joined by so many good people, so many great friends, the likes of Tony Hughes, Martin Dare, Diecast Fixer Uppers, Dad and Andrew's Garage. 2HD Cat, PBO, PB's Retro retro Restorations, sorry Pete, uh, Mr P, Ron from Sumo, Diecast, uh, Elboy59, Don from Diecast Flashback, Matchbox Mark, Metal Mania 3D and the Diecast Workshop, KC, hope you're well mate, uh, Eerie Fix Diecast, Danny from Ibero, Ibero Tuning Restoro Automobiline I think that's how you say it um, Alessandro Alessandro Probably not Brian Diecast Thailand Southers um, I'm going to forget some So I do apologise Flying Valiant Chuck How are you mate? I think that's uh, that's about all my my, my yah yah Yannick yah yah's garage custom diecast. Um, hello, mate. These are all people that have dropped by the diecast models community channel at some point and left their images of their builds, 
taken part in our monthly events. And the monthly events that we do are are fairly simple, generic, and um, they're starting to take off. So thank you for all the to all the people who've taken part in that. We've just finished the um, the Aussies Ashes Challenge, which was to do a British muscle car. Uh, I've done that, and that video will be following this one. Uh, so that just, as I say, a massive thank you. Thank you to everybody um, that supported both Midlife Models and the DMC. Have a great festive period. May you be, may it be peaceful and healthy, and we all come out of it. Looking forward to 2022. Uh, I know it's been a tough year. So this is PJ signing off for 2021, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>